Well, good morning to you lot. Anybody that's not subscribed before, thanks for watching. And for anybody that's a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Well, eventful drive up here. We've come to Hard Knock Pass today. Um, we're going to be doing Whiteside um, later on. And we're going to be going on to Scarfell. Not Scarfell Pike, just Scarfell itself. Well, um, that was a terrifying experience coming over Hard Knock Pass. Jesus. If you're not comfortable driving or you don't have the appropriate vehicle, I'd advise avoid that. Go another way around. Pfft. A couple of um, hairpin bends and putting the brakes on if there's any kind of moisture on the road, any moisture at all, then your car just slides forward. And there was one point where there's a, ha a hairpin bend that went all the way around, back on itself. And as I'm applying the brakes on, and then trying to turn right, the car just wanted to go forward. <laughs> I was absolutely bricking it, bricking myself. Tight sphincter. Woo. And yeah, same applies going uphill as well. It's not just the downhill bit, the uphill bit. If there's any kind of moisture on the road, your car is literally it what 45 degree angle or more and you just can't get the traction you just have to keep the momentum going so if it's winter if it's there's even the remote possibility of you there being ice on the ground i wouldn't even bother with that pass i'd go any other way you could to get on this side oh well anyway um i've had a chance to calm down for five minutes i'm going to start off from a hard nut pass I'm going to go up and do Whiteside and then off to Scarfell. So I'll check in with you guys shortly. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, the weather isn't all that bad today. Quite a clear morning. Ugh, um, quite a clear morning. Probably about two degrees. I did say it was going to be freezing at about minus four down here it isn't but up there it may well be
and there's a brave soul going up. Hard nut, oh no, they're coming down, hard nut pass. That is a squeaky ass. Drive down. Recommended as a footpath rather than a road, that. It's taking its time coming down. You know what, I'll be doing that in the winter. Okay, well underway now. Well underway. So we're just on the, the ascent up, and you'll probably see a few of the peaks behind me. I think that one there is Scarfell Pike, but I'm not 100%. Kind of looks like it. And then you got Hill Crag there as well. Swampy this bit. <clears throat> so the route today does take us up this bit, along over towards Scarfell Pike, and then on the way back we're going to drop down into the valley, and you'll see the valley down there. And then we'll follow that back, um, straight down a hard knot pass again, and then back to the car. So I'll fill you in with a bit more detail. Let me crack on. See you guys shortly. Still plodding on. Quite a straight, straight route. It's quite flat, undulates a little bit. Very pleasant underfoot. Very pleasant underfoot. I don't know why I say things twice, but just in case you didn't hear me the first time, I suppose. Okay, so you'll see behind me now you've got Bowfell and you've got the Crinkle Crags there, and down the valley here. River Esk, which I'm assuming that's Eskdale. That's the assumption. And on the way back, that's the route we're going to be following back. A nice, uh, nice trundle along the river. Oh, I've got a, a runny nose and feeling that my nose is bleeding. Get that uh, irony sort of. So, anywho, we shall crack on. Uh, reporting in a little while. So, just to let you know, my whole reasoning behind starting this route from a hard knot as opposed to Wasdale Head is partly because it being a Sunday, I'm assuming that weather's fairly going to, well, going to be fairly dry and fine today. So I anticipated that Wasdale would be hammered. Everybody trying to top Scarfell and Scarfell Pike from the other side. So I thought, do it from here. Hard knot is a bit more, a bit more difficult to get to, I suppose, isn't it? Hence me bricking it with the car. Um, more out of the way. Parking's free instead of 70 for the day. So here we are. And ascending it from this side. Hell of a lot quieter, isn't it? <clears throat> so let me navigate the bogs. We'll see you guys in a little while. Drop the headphone. Right on the front, but looks like he's alright. Not a scratch. I can see the route ahead. This is the path though. 
just at the levels out and then that's slight side that's not too bad is it oh what do you think it's a nice morning isn't it he says there's a bit of cloud there quite thick and the wind direction is blowing from what north to east to southwest. We did say it was going to be clear all day, but we will uh, we'll play that by ear, given that it is the Lake District there. We all know the score, don't we? Got the coat, got gloves, got a hat. Waterproofs, as always, even in the middle of summer, there's a mandatory requirement for this place. And if you're watching this, you already know that. Just coming up to quarter past seven now, and we're finally getting hit by the sun. See the sunrise. Love this time of day. Just get to see it hit all the tops of the peaks. You probably see it over there more than anywhere. But even behind me here, it just started to glisten on the side. So good morning. Another fine and dandy one. When you get to this rock, the path takes a 90 degree turn to the left and it suddenly starts getting a bit steeper. So then we've got to trundle up to here, follow the ridge line across and then straight ascent up there to slide side. I haven't seen anybody yet though, peeps. Not a single person. No peeps but sheeps. Quick stop to put the coat on. Oh jeez. Got above about 700 metres and it was freezing. So as well as that, we'll stick the gloves on as well. So we're probably about 50 metres off the top of slight side now. So now we're toasty, let's get going again. So this is, if you can hear me because of the wind, top of Holm Crag. Right, get out of the wind, toasty. Right, spin you guys round, I'll show you the view that's coming up. Let's have a bit of a, a bit of a wander forward and you'll see the immense view we've got. Now we're at the top of slight side, or should I say, it's just there. So that's the summit of the slight side done. Over a few meters. 
boom. Yeah, the Scarfell. Scarfell Pike just in between there. You can see the cairn. Now you got the likes of Bowfell over that end. Pinkle Crags. Swing you around. Connie Snowman. Out towards the Irish Sea. So when we've done that, the route down is behind this peak, down the side here, and down into the valley for the River Esk. I don't think uh, the drone's going to be flown much at this altitude anyway, but we'll fly it when we get into uh, into the valley. Too far to go now, just get out of the wind a minute. There we go, out the wind now. Not too far to go. There's the Scarfell. <coughs> you can see the summit of Scarfell Pike over there. So let's uh, let's pull along a bit more. Fair bit of a tent yet to do. So we'll just pick our way through. Can't go far wrong water down there, the sea scale power station, commissioning plant or whatever it is. Coming up on the summit now of Scarfell. Excuse the wind. Summit Scarfell. Scarfell's done. Bag that. Just drop down here behind the peak just to set out the wind because it's blowing the gale and it's freezing. So we'll grab something to eat and we'll uh, we'll make our way down. Yeah, I've got here. Stuck on me. Yeah, I'm sat here on my own. Nobody else here. I'll show you pictures of um, Scarfell over there. There's probably about six, ten people on top of there already. It's only what, probably about 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. Right, so we've just come down off the summit. Um, if you go towards Simmons Knots, which is just up there, <coughs> excuse me, you can easily pick up the path. Um, it's clearly marked, as you can see on the floor, well trodden. And then we're going to go down to Fox's Town, which is down the hill. Straight down here, probably can't miss it. So, um, and then we'll pick up the, the stream you can see there, which leads from um, the bottom end of Broad Stand, which is between here and the summit of Scarfell Pike. <coughs> oh, excuse me, coughing. So, uh, down there, you should have some um, decent pictures to take with waterfalls and stuff in it. So given that we're going downhill, it's a bit steep, we'll, uh, we'll leave you there and we'll come back to you in a minute.
can't tell springs in the air because that sun is so warm. Bring out the wind, obviously. And on the top of there as well, I heard my first skylark this year. Very brief soul given that it's so cold. He's a bit of a speck, isn't he? Right, bottom of the valley floor now. So it'll be a bit easier if I spin the camera around. And there you go. Let's see... Estale, or the River Esk, going all the way down. It's really, really quite flat. So, just have to navigate this lot, which is a bunch of waterfalls, as you can see. Let me zoom in a bit. The full entirety of them. So, I'm going to whip the drone out now, fly that up there, and get you some good footage. So, that footage is here. fell over. Probably there's only dark for that right at the last minute. So here we are um, back on the banks of the River Esk. So we're just literally going to follow this right down. You probably see a path just over the other side. Skirts around the side of the hill and then that leads back to the car. 
between here and there there are some waterfalls so I'll grab some pictures of them uh, yeah it's been all right but got nice and warm now proper spring day so really really loving it getting there almost there can't be all that long now because I can see the pub from here nah, I can see there's hard knot the other side of that is the pass and the fort the Roman fort so we're about 3k away now yeah we're about 3k to get back <sighs> my legs are hurting now oh no actually my legs are alright it's my feet, the bottom of my feet so it's just the consistent plunk 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 of the feet and all this gravelly stuff as you can see but it does me in That had been permed and had a bleach, a bit clean. Oh dear me. Two kilometres left. People going to sleep for a bit. Don't look like there's a B and B near here. Oh dear me. Oh. Right, Martin Rescue. Oh, they locked the gate. They locked the gate. They locked the gate. Why? Can't take any more. He's struggling. Blowing. Oh dear. Dear me. Oh, okay, there's about um, a k and a half left, so it just goes through a couple of little farmsteads and then we're back to the main road where we parked. So on that note, because there isn't going to be much um, that's eventful, we'll say, um, I'll call it a day there. So if you've been patient enough to watch this all the way through, as boring as the last 10k has probably been. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I'd appreciate you uh, whacking us a like for the video and a subscribe as well. And if you're up to it, if you fancy it, that is, you like this video or you like the content, then by all means, I've watched many videos. Plenty on there. Um, there are videos of me doing Crinkle Crags, videos of me doing Scaffold Pike, videos of me walking in the snow, walking in the summer. So I'll take your pick. Plenty of decent drone footage on those as well. So, yeah, really appreciate you getting to this point and enjoying the journey with me. So, until next time, thank you all very much. Mark checking out.